Hello, Bobcats and all those other OCPS teachers out there. First of all, thank you for coming back to the channel. And today, I want to talk a little bit more about Big Blue Button. Uh, after my first video, which you should be able to click the link below or click in the video and jump over to that, uh, there's been a lot of questions about how to use Big Blue Button and further information. So today, we're kind of going to do some frequently asked questions and cover all of those. So question number one is, what if I don't have all my classes cross-linked? Or what if I want uh, multiple classes to be able to access my video or whatever else? Thankfully, that's an easy one. So from Launchpad, you can go directly into Big Blue Button, and it will be slightly different, but all the features are the same. If you click Big Blue Button from Launchpad, like I'm doing here, the first time you go in, it'll ask you to sign in. You just click the Sign In button, and it should take you right into it. Simple and easy. But once you've done that, then you will see your homeroom. So now here, I have my homeroom, and I have a link. This link is always my homeroom link. So I can send this out to my students, I can send this out to my parents, I can send this out to my staff, whoever that may be, and this is the link that will give them access to my room when I'm doing a live Big Blue Button session. That way, I can send it to multiple people, I can send it to other teachers, I can make sure everybody has it. I can post that link on Canvas, I can send it on Class Dojo. I can send it in an email, however I want them to get it, I just give them this link. Once I'm live, they'll be able to go to that link. So we're going to do this one actually in my demo room because I made a room specifically for that. This room has no recordings yet because I haven't recorded a session. And the link will look very similar, but it is slightly different. So I give that link out, and now people can join my session. Once I'm ready to go, I hit Start, and it will go ahead and log me into my session right here. And then from here, it's exactly like it was in my first video. So we'll log in with my microphone, we'll click allow, we'll give it a second for the echo test to come up. Once I click yes, I'm good to go. Now I have this. So that was question number one is how do I share this thing out to other people? So using it directly from launch gives you a link that you can share out any way you want and then you know exactly how your students have gotten access to it. Another thing to note is if students don't have internet access or they're not available to be on the uh, computers, they can also call in directly from their phones. They can call this phone number and then put in that code and that will get them into this exact room. So that's point number one that I wanted to bring up. Something we learned doing a big blue button session the other day and using a recording. If you are using your webcam and you enable your webcam on your video, which we'll go ahead and activate mine real quick. that one. If you are using your webcam, then you're going to want to make a quick adjustment when you actually do your recording. So if you are recording from this screen, so I have my presentation or a shared window, even if I'm sharing my screen to another a Google slide deck or a PowerPoint presentation or whatever, if you're using this screen and it looks like this, your webcam will not be in the actual recording that you're going to get. So what you want to do when you want students to see your webcam in the recorded version, you click hide this presentation, it'll move your webcam to front and forward, and now that's what will also make its way into the recording. Once I do restore presentation, in my recorded version, my webcam is no longer showing up. So keep that in mind. Even if you are doing uh, a screen record or you're doing screen sharing and showing another screen, whatever's in this main space is what makes its way into the recording. This is only what they see live. So that's a note that we've learned doing this. The next big question people ask is, what happens to the recording? How do I get that? So when you end your meeting, once you're all done, you've done your live session, you hit stop, you hit start recording at the beginning, you hit stop recording at the end, then we're going to go to end meeting, and it will take me back to that home page that we started with. So now it's going to take me back to that home page. Once your recording is prepared, it will show up down here. It does take some time. It's having to process that entire experience. So here's one I did before, I uh, did earlier today, and here is the link. I can have that video format link right there. I just need to change it into public. And now I can share out this video link. I can go to the video, and that link right there will take them directly to the recording of the session I did earlier. I can send that link out, and that way my teachers, have, my students, my parents, whoever, has access to the recorded experience. So that's available to them right there. The next big question people keep asking is, how do I enable 
my students to be able to share their video or share their audio. So in order to show you that, I'm going to load in some students into my demo class. Alright, so in general, here's where my students are in my class now. I've got three of my students here. Right now, they can only share their webcam and type in the chat. They don't have access to be able to turn on their audio. In order to give them access, all I have to do is click on their name and then hit unlock. Once I unlock Billy, he can now enable his microphone. So again, Johnny, maybe I want Johnny to be able to share his audio. So Billy and Johnny can now both share their audio and now so can Susie. All three of them can share their webcams or their audio with me now if they wanted to. On the student side, they don't see quite the same icons. They have the webcam icon that they can turn on right away, but as they enter the room, instead of seeing these two icons, they see a set of headphones. In order for them to be able to share their audio, they need to click the set of headphones and then click the microphone option that'll show up. Because they weren't unlocked when they first came in, they didn't have the option to turn on a microphone yet. So they have to click the headphone button, then the microphone option will show up, and then they'll see the same options that you've seen before. In a future video, I am going to do the student side of things and show you what that looks like. Then you can actually share that out with your students for them to know how to use a big blue button session as well. Those are the main things that we've learned so far using Big Blue Button. Those are frequently asked questions that I've been able to hit on for you guys, I hope. And I will be doing some future videos on some advanced features in the Big Blue Button. I'll be doing those features in a future video. I hope this one helped you guys out. As always, you can reach out to me at bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. And please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that so I, you can uh, get all my updated videos. And like I said, I'll be releasing a lot more as we go on. Hope this helped you guys out, and I hope you have a great day.